funny how the solution to every problem in this country seems to be to throw money at Dennis O'Brien. So COVID-19 comes along and people are saying, oh, well, Leo Varadkar and Simon Harris, they're doing a great job. Really? Well, when a couple of weeks ago they announced that they were going to take over the private hospitals and we'd have a single tier public health service for the duration of the COVID-19 crisis, did they also tell you that those private hospitals are owned by people like Dennis O'Brien, Larry Goodman, and that once more the Irish taxpayer would be filling the pockets of billionaire tax dodgers. When the government announced that they were taking over the private hospitals for the duration of the crisis, the first announcement didn't come with the news that they were actually leasing these private hospitals off the private hospitals. They also said that the cost of this leasing won't be revealed until after the leasing of the private hospitals has been done. And the cost will be decided by independent auditors. But just who owns the private hospitals in Ireland? Well, first up, we've got Dennis O'Brien. Yeah, Dennis O'Brien, the tax dodging, tax exile billionaire. Dennis O'Brien owns the Beacon Clinic. He got it from a write down from Ulster Bank who wrote down the cost of it from 100 million to 40 million. Just like everything Dennis gets his hands on, it comes with a handout. So the man who's worth 2.9 billion and has been involved in countless dodgy deals over the years is going to get his hands on more taxpayers' money because of the COVID-19 crisis and because of Simon Harris and Leo Varadkar. I mean, remember that O'Brien made his fortune. In 1991, he bribed Michael Lowry so that he could get his hands on the national telecom infrastructure of this country. I mean, there was the Moriarty Tribunal afterwards, but these tribunals never lock anybody up. Whether it's Dennis O'Brien or Bertie O'Hearn, they just slap them on the wrist and say, oh, you're a naughty boy, but they never see any time behind bars. Meanwhile, we pay millions for lawyers with the duration of the tribunal. I mean, in 2012, Dennis O'Brien bought Sightserve off Anglo-Irish Bank, then called IBRC. He got it after a write-down of 119 million in its debts. So he got it for 45 million. Again, another handout from the state because it was the taxpayer that owned Anglo Irish Bank at the time. And then what does Sightserve go and do once Dennis O'Brien has his hands on it? Well, it was Sightserve that got the contract to install water meters across this country in July 2013. And then when it comes to bidding for the national broadband contract, it's Dennis O'Brien and the Granahan McCourt consortium of which he is part, which gets the deal. What other tax dodging millionaires own hospitals across Ireland? Well. Larry Goodman. Larry Goodman owns the Hermitage, the Galway Clinic and has shares in the Blackrock Clinic. Goodman is a gangster beef baron tax dodger who screws small farmers over while getting millions in state handouts. He owns APB Food Group. I mean this is the man who sold beef to Saddam Hussein in the 90s and when his company got into trouble with the Gulf War Fianna Fáil stepped in to try and bail him out. I mean after one meeting with Hockey he got 90 million from the IDA. Not to mention that Larry Goodman gets a handout of 430,000 a year from the EU. These millionaires and billionaires rely on state handouts. So it's pretty ironic that Varadkar goes on about welfare cheats and goes on about chasing down poor people. And then he goes and throws taxpayers cash at these tax dodging billionaires. And how much are we going to pay Goodman and Dennis O'Brien for the use of their private hospitals? Well, Leo says, don't worry, they won't make any profit because the cost will be determined by independent auditors. But hang on a minute, the last time the HSE was charged by independent auditors, like the lot, the cost of a project they were charged for went from 9 million to 131 million. Not to mention that the Matter Private Hospital charges a thousand euro a night for a private room. And then there's the Catholic institutions like Bon Secours. The people responsible for putting dead babies in the septic tanks in tune. Never has the case been clearer for just outright nationalisation of the 19 private hospitals and their thousands of beds. We should have done it years ago to deal with the trolley crisis because the trolley crisis is a product of the proliferation of these private hospitals. Because People like Simon Harris and Leo Varadkar and other Ministers of Health, including Michal Martin, who was also a Minister of Health, they've run down the public health service. They've outsourced and privatised in order to drive people into the hands of Dennis O'Brien and into the hands of Larry Goodman and into the hands of Bon Secours. But these people have got enough state handouts from the people of this country. They've taken enough taxpayers' money. This has to stop. We need to nationalise the public health service right now. 
not just to deal with this emergency, but to make sure there's never a trolley crisis again. And never again do we watch one of our loved ones die on a trolley in an underfunded hospital. But you see, as long as the Irish state is a corrupt state, as long as rich people like Dennis O'Brien and Larry Goodman can walk into the IDA and get a development grant of 90 million, as long as they can walk into Anglo-Irish Bank and get a write down on SiteServe and get the contract for water meters, as long as they control the state machine in this country through a million different little connections, the state will never work for working class people and our money will always be used and abused and given to people like them. That's why we need a working class rebellion. That's why we need a movement like the water charges movement. Only more sustained, more determined, bigger and bolder with the ambition to rewrite the constitution of this country and to build a state that actually works in the interests of working class people.